Thousands of cryptocurrency projects have been useful to the adoption of blockchain technology. Each project is associated with a specific use case, whether as a store of value, creation of digital contracts and decentralized applications, data storage, and many more. But there's one project that can outshine all networks in the crypto world, the Elrond. Why? Simply because it is built with speed, security, and scalability to handle a high volume of transactions. In other words, it's multi-purpose. In this video, we're going to discuss all about the Elrond network and its native token, the eGold token. What makes this crypto project unique? How does it work? And lastly, is it a good investment for massive gains? If you want to find out, then stay on this video and we'll explain it all to you. Hello everyone and welcome back to Krypton. Before we start, if you like this type of content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you won't miss our amazing videos about cryptocurrency. Without further ado, let's dive right in. If you have extensive knowledge about cryptocurrencies, then you may already know what the scalability trilemma is. But for those who are new in the crypto world, this primarily refers to the scalability issue of crypto projects. A mature blockchain network should have three primary characteristics scalability, security, and decentralization. But the problem is, it seems impossible to have crypto that will perform all of these all at once because of the consensus algorithm employed by Bitcoin, the proof of work, or POW. For example, Ethereum, the world's leading blockchain network, has been facing substantial issues related to its POW consensus, and it currently attempts to solve this by employing the proof of stake, or POS consensus mechanism, in its network. From this, different cryptocurrency projects were launched to provide a solution for the scalability trilemma, and it seems like one can be successful out of many, the Elrond. In late 2017, Elrond was founded by brothers Benayamin and Lucian Minku together with Lucian Todia. These people saw that the blockchain scalability issue is the most crucial problem in the crypto industry. That's why they created the said network. Without a question, the Elrond founders have great experience in the crypto world and digital technology. The Minku brothers co-founded MetaChain Capital, a digital asset investment fund that seemed to be successful in its run. Moreover, the two also co-founded ICO Market Data, an aggregator of information around initial coin offerings. From 2014 to 2015, Benayamin Minku was responsible for the product, marketing, and community for NEM, a blockchain platform. He is also an early investor in some crypto projects like Zilliqa, Tezos, Binance, and Brave. Meanwhile, Lucian Todia has a great background in technology as he is a serial tech entrepreneur and a founder and CEO of Soft32, a software review and download site. Now, let's talk more about the Elrond network itself and its token. After being announced in 2019, Elrond describes itself as a scalable, fast, and blockchain-based platform alongside its native cryptocurrency token, the eGold. The network is mainly utilized for distributed applications, enterprise use cases, and the new internet economy. Just like what I mentioned earlier, this network claims to solve the scalability trilemma in the crypto industry with great improvements in blockchain speed, scale, cost, and user experience. It is more likely a powerful and useful one as it combined the scarcity of Bitcoin, the programmability of Ethereum, and the high speed of the next generation of crypto to outstand all other projects. Moreover, Elrond is set to compete against major blockchains such as Zilliqa and Ethereum, which aim to develop an ecosystem of decentralized applications and cryptos. For those who don't know, Elrond is named after a character in The Lord of the Rings, and other projects connected to the currency stay on the said theme. Now, maybe you're asking, what makes Elrond highly different from other projects that are aiming to solve the scalability trilemma? What are its special features? To fully understand how Elrond works, you should need to know the two technologies that make up the said network. Sharding was already introduced in the crypto industry by certain blockchains, just like Zilliqa, while Ethereum 2.0 will also adopt this technique. 
Now, it basically splits the network into pieces, known as shards, which allows nodes to only process a fraction of the network's transactions. So this is the key to fast and high volume transactions inside the network. But what makes Elrond even more unique is that it uses adaptive state sharding. It primarily uses not just one, but three types of sharding, state, transaction, and network sharding. This kind of sharding mainly improves the communication inside shards as well as the network's performance and efficiency. After the process of the transactions, shards will automatically broadcast them to the metachain, Elrond's central blockchain, where all transactions will be settled. When it comes to consensus mechanisms, Elrond's approach is the Secure Proof of Stake, or SPOS. This primarily eliminates the POW mechanism. It is said to be a secure and low latency solution for consensus of blockchain technology. The SPOS combines the eligibility through stake, in which a forger mainly creates a block, depending on the value of the currency that they have and how long they have kept it, compared to other forgers and rating, which serves as the basis for proof of stake. With this, the Elrond runs with the help of random validator selection as well as with an optimal dimension for the consensus group. With these advantageous strategies, Elrond outshines other networks for quick and cheap processing transactions. Smart contracts inside Elrond allow the blockchain to process 15,000 transactions per second, with a new block of transactions added to the blockchain every 6 seconds. It seems unbelievable, but Elrond can do it. But what can you do inside the network? Elrond is created to be the backbone of decentralized applications, whether it's connected to finance or other needs. As the network has pretty extensive scalability, it can handle significant growth. Even as the demand in the network continuously increases, the sharding used in Elrond would be enough to maintain the pace of transactions. Now, let's focus on the native token of the Elrond network, the eGold token. Generally, the utility of this token on the network is multifold. It is mainly used in the consensus mechanism for staking and validator rewards, as well as for payment of transactions and smart contracts. All users and developers inside the Elrond platform mainly interact with the eGold token, as all of the activities inside the network are handled by it. Moreover, the said token is also designed for use through Meyer, a mobile application powered by Elrond where users can easily send near-instant transactions all over the network. Meyer mainly offers staking, borrowing, lending, sending, and receiving features. This makes Elrond a more accessible and consumer-friendly network. If we're going to take a look at the token's price action, then we can see that it had a major fluctuation over the past years. However, the token's volatility is widely seen throughout its history. In July of 2020, the network's main net was launched, bringing its native eGold token into the crypto market. During that time, the token's price ranges from $10 to $12 until 2021. While 2021 is the best year for eGold as of now, the token's price hiked significantly between the first two months of the year. In January of 2021, the token's price was trading at $26.07, and it enormously climbed by 650% on February 9th as it was trading at $196.02. However, the bullish market did not last for long, and the bearish side regained control. In April of 2021, eGold's price gathered the attention of crypto investors as it spiked to $239.29, but then it fell to $59.45 in June of 2021. Even so, eGold did not stop there. The last few days of June 2021 kicked off another rise for the token. It unbelievably rose to $542.58 on November 23rd, marking the highest price of the token in its history. Well, early investors of eGold surely gained massive returns in that time. However, 2022 seems to be an off year for the token. After hitting $234.25 in December of 2021, the token's price has continuously moved in a downward trend up until now. eGold's quarterly returns for the first and second quarters of this year have been in a rough state. 
At this time, the e-gold token is trading at $53.54 with a $32,954,822 trading volume placing in the 49th spot, according to the CoinGecko ranking. Its current circulating supply is more than 22.8 million, equating to a market cap of around $1.222 billion. If we're going to take a look at the eGold's token price prediction for the next years, there are dispersed analysis about this token. Trading Beat's price predictions showed that the token can have both short-term rally and long-term profit potential as it could reach $184.40 by the end of 2022. In line with this prediction, Wallet Investor expects that the token's price will amazingly reach $252.50 by the end of 2022 and even surge to $612 over the next five years. Digital Coin Prices' price prediction remains bearish on the eGold's price potential in the next few years. The site said that there is no hope that the token will achieve $248 by 2023. However, it still predicts a continuous gradual increase that can help the token to reach $360 by 2030. With the analysis and experts price target for eGold, it still seems that it can be a great investment for investors who are aiming to achieve massive gains. The past achievements of the network and its native token could be great catalysts for its potential growth in the future. Moreover, this is one of the most inventive and useful crypto projects in the industry, and maybe Elrond is still heating up something new in the industry. Well, that's it. What are your thoughts about Elrond and its native token? Will it be good to be seen in your portfolio? Let us know in the comment section below. And while you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.